Hello and a very warm welcome from your host Verbal Game broadcasting to you from the NDL 2018 Pro Division winners Kronos, Kronos crushes all. Here we go with the Warlock. The Warlock is some of our normal wars. The last one we lost was against Yolo Viper, and then we lost against Beast Mode, Night War, and then we got on a winning spree for about 38 days. And the last one we matched was FBC India, Fair Play Community India, which was, well, a few days later, our finalist in the war uh, of the NDL Pro Division. And let's see what it gave us. It gave us 98.62%. We cleared all nights, we cleared almost all tens. One ten stayed up, and well, if you look at the stats, the breakdown was 722.16, and we only got 20 10 versus 10. How could we leave one up? Well, it, it, the stats show that we, leave, uh, we left two up, but one of our town hall nights eventually got a 9 versus 10. I'll show you a little later in the recap. The first one I'm going to show you is number 36. It's an attack from Kaso against Stratas, and the town hall nights were some, some interesting attacks, some interesting armies I'm going to show you. And of course, a uh, selected few um, 10 versus 10 and some 11 versus 11 action later on. All 11 versus 11. I selected, I think, about 10 10 versus 10 and a few 9 versus 9. And of course, we will show the 9 versus 10. It was a scout, it was a fresh attack. Pinky gone online, had a good plan for it, and said, Well, I'm gonna scout it. Maybe this plan is gonna be okay for a town hall 10, but he got it in the end. I think in 1 minute 30, you think, Well, well, this is going down, this is going down, and then the loons. Get the base in the end. We will show you later on. Here's Kosso with a great opener with a golems. Some golems, some bolas. The king, oh, the king and queen travel around. I don't think that was the plan, but it played out nicely here. He gets the blower and he's got loot back end. Oh, well, it was the plan. That's why he put the jump in there. The jump for the king to get to the enemy king. Nah, that wasn't the plan. No, the plan was to get the kill spot way more in, but he got the enemy queen. Queen stays alive. Queen is hitting a wall. King is doing damage in the south end, but it doesn't matter, it's a loon raid, you got three haste left, you got a heal left, you got the queen ability left, but he deploys his loon from 11 o'clock, from 10 o'clock, immediately spots the Tesla, drops his haste to get to that first wizard tower, that's the most troubling over there, but his hounds stay alive, hounds stay alive, one hound still alive, under attack by two uh, air deaths, but it's going down, he has haste left, he's got a heal left. Gonna heal left right about now. I think he's gonna swag. Well, he could swag the heal, but we don't do swags. Not in the finals. Please don't do it. Hound will pop. The pops actually help, and from here on, it's only clean up. I think. Great opener by Caso. What's pretty funny attack with the golems to start with. From here on, it's clean up. We're gonna speed it up a little bit for you. And still an attack like this. We had a hit rate. I think we failed one nine versus nine, and the rest were all successes in the first three hours of the war. We always try to demotivate uh, our opponent a little bit, but fair play community India was not <laughs> was not caught off guard. Very good attackers. Very good war from them. They started off on the town hall elevens. I can show you later on. They started off with I think on the town hall after they. They were, they, they were doing the town hall. Oh, Tesla Farm with the king over there. They were doing the, uh, uh, the 9 versus 9, and then suddenly some town hall 10 came online, and he hit one of our town hall 10s fresh and got a triple. And then I think half an hour later, he came online again and did another 10 versus 10 fresh. So we were a little bit scared in the beginning, but in the end, we pulled it through. Uh, what's this queen gonna do? Is he gonna do some support troops? This is gonna be a 5 dragon raid. He's got a healer left. What's he gonna do with the left healer? Why is that healer still left? Forgot to deploy it. I think so. He's deploying a wizard over there for helping the queen to funnel. He doesn't want to break the wall with the air deaths. Does he? Or does he want to do that later on with the cannon over there? Yes, he wants to break the wall with the cannon over there. Ah, queen takes down that air dev. He has to deploy his other wall breakers. Now deploy the healer. He had left a five dragons. Five dragon raid. Well, that's what you get when you get all the air devs at one side. If you get all the air devs at one side, then the walk can get to the air devs, the queen, and the clan castle like that. That's quite obvious. That's not, not that good of a base. He uses his queen ability. Oh, queen has a little bit of trouble with the clan castle. The baby dragon won't die. He had to kill the enemy queen in between. With the ability, got the blower, got the axe bows, and almost all air devs are gone right now. Every death that targets air is gone. Only the blower is up. Blower is in the wrong direction. This is gonna be a triple. No problem. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Koner. Koner. Uh, what had Betty account? 
was named Boner, but he had to change it. Some loons for the back end for the Archer Tower, and this base is down. This was the first three hours of war. We cleared all the nines very, very quickly. We got another Dragon Raid for you. Dragon Raid on number 31 from Dasher. Dasher, our friend from Golden Members. We have some people from Golden Members visiting our clan now and then. They do the Town Hall 9s, help us with the Town Hall 10 plans and the Town 11 plans. And they're great, great, great players. I think they won the NDL. Ooh, what's he going to do here? Valkyrie. Valkyrie in the corner just for the corner buildings. Oh, there's not a lot of death over there, so he can take quite a lot with one Valkyrie. What's he going to do now? He's going to deploy a Rage spell and some Skeleton spells on the Air Death. Whoa, what's this? I didn't see this before. I didn't see this even in the war. <laughs> I just looked at what what armies people used, uh, people used, and what armies were a little bit of the normal, the normal loon army we used. What did he do over there? I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna <laughs> look at this one more time. What did he do? Here are two air devs. He deploys a Valkyrie in the corner. Valkyrie in the corner to the builder hut, and then he deploys a rage on the two air devs. Raids on the two air devs and he's got some skeleton spells. Three skeleton spells, four skeleton spells he has. Drop three or four skeleton spells. And the skeleton spells take down the air dev, take down the enemy king, maybe take down the cannon as well. Ah, <laughs> damn it, this is nice. Baby dragon for funneling. What's the rest of the attack gonna be? Great plan, great plan by Dasher. As I said, they won the NDL um, semi-pro, I think, semi-pro the one well-deserved win. I hope they will compete in the Pro Division next year. They really deserve it and I think, the, think they are strong enough. Some archers in the bottom. King and Queen in the bottom. They will go alongside the base. King will be protecting the Queen. Queen takes down the Clan Castle, drops his poison spell on the Witch. Will the Witch go down? One dragon stays behind. The Sweepers have to go down for these dragons to take the rest of the base. Well, this is getting tricky. Tricky, he's got some loons for the backhand, but he dro drops his other skeleton spell at the air dev, so that air dev will go down, because he's got no hounds left, so all the air devs are hitting on those loons now, and the eggs bow won't go down, because it's got... <laughs> he has got a lot of dragons left. Will those two loons finally kill that lost air dev? Is that air dev is gone? Yes, and the dragon will target the air dev, if the air dev targets the other dragon. Other dragon is gone, this dragon takes down the air dev, and this is a successful hit. Well done, well done, well done. What a nice plan. A rage on three skeleton spells to take down two air devs next to each other. <laughs> Great plan. The next one was a nice one, was number 27. 27, where are you? Here you are, a hot spot. Well, look at this. This was, look at this. This is a Town Hall 10. The attacker is a Town Hall 9. And it's not even a, a stupid Town Hall 10. It's a great Town Hall 10. This building is not maxed. But for the rest, it's it's nearly maxed. It's a damn good base. Walls are all maxed. Heroes are maxed. Let's look at King 40. Then the Queen. Obviously, it's 40. Otherwise, you don't belong in fair play community. India. You all got great accounts. Now, what does he do? He's got 32 loons, 2 hounds, 100 clown castle. Deploys his King in the south. A little uh, Queen in the north to take down dead air dev. For funneling deploys a haste. Did remember this was a fresh hit, some loons to take down that mortar for better pathing of the rest of the raid. Takes down the cannon as well, and those loons travel to that archer tower and barely take down the archer tower. Three loons, one haste from a town on nine. That was great value. Queen's gone, king's gone, and here he's thinking about oh damn it, how I'm gonna take this down. What plan I'm gonna do? Pre-drops his haste spells. Deploy some loons. Deploys his level 4 hound from the clan castle, deploys his other hound, the, fr uh, the first hound will take the most damage from the air. Whoa, damage is the dragon, dragon in the clan castle, he didn't expect that, dragon in the clan castle with a loon raid. Town Hall 9 versus 10, come on. This can never be a success. And when we watched this, I I, uh, I didn't watch it live, I watched it after I heard he made it. I thought this is never gonna, this is never gonna triple, 147 left. This can't triple, look at how little loons he has. Little Lindsay has left, but there is still that hound. That hound, he's got no spells left. If he deploys a haste right now, then the loons will catch up to the hound. And the hound won't protect the loons. It won't protect the loons anymore. Hound goes right about now, and a lot of pops come out of there. There's a Tesla, there's a Wizard Tower, there's an Archer Tower. There's still three buildings taken down that loons, but he's got so many loons left with full health. Damn it, they're attacked from two sides right about now. Look at how, look at how low on here they are. 
those five loons are going down by the Tesla tower alone? Yes, but the other ones which are a backup saved the day. And from here on it's slowly but surely a takedown of a Town Hall 9 versus a Town Hall 10. Great effort, great plan by Piggy. He did a lot of Town Hall 9 plans this war. And look at this. Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10. This is one for the books. Well done. That was number 27. Um, what do we got? We got number 26, which was a 10 versus 10. Uh, 10 versus 10. This is a uh, practically maxed base. Yes, again, uh, this is Daddy. Daddy always uses the same army. And we don't know why, but he always takes down bases with it. It's incredible. It's incredible. The, the, the most bases are defending against this attack. Against the Bow Witch attack with the two golems. But still he finds his bases and he says, well, I've got a plan. Can I go? Well, you don't have to hesitate. If he asks, if he can go, he can go. Because he always takes one down. I think every war he takes one down. Deploys his, which is in the south, which is under barracks, which is go to the dark elixir tank. Where will he deploy his jump spell? Jump spell will be on the archer tower, I guess, behind the gold mine. He deploys his queen. Queen will be there. All a little bit attacked by the. Uh, oh damn it! Will the queen go in? Will the queen go in? Please, queen go in. Deploys his bolus. Deploys his. Oh damn it! Deploys his bolus. Deploys his king. Very nicely dropped. Jump spell. The witches are a little bit in trouble over there because the king is attacking those bolus and some bolus stay behind. But the main the main troops go inside. Deploys a skeleton spell. Skeleton spell at the single inferno to keep his royals alive. Didn't use uh, king ability yet. Used queen ability. King ability still left. Many troops go through the core, but there are no giant bombs over there, so the most of the bowlers will stay alive, which is travel around the south to the 9 o'clock area. The, ooh, the single inferno locks on to the king right about now, uses king ability, and the inferno targets something else. I thought he targeted the king and he would kill the king, but the king stays up. King stays up. The healers, the two healers he deployed on the bowlers and on the witches are on the king now. He heals up the king. Queen is still alive. Queen is still alive. Taking down the town all right about now. And look at those bowlers. Ah, damn it. Healers stay behind. Healers stay behind. Queen dies. Healers just heal those last witches. And those bowlers are going, oh, going to be killed. The air death kills the baby dragon here for a back. And this is going to be a tight hit. Tight hit. And tight on time as well. But he got it in the end. Daddy with a 10 versus 10 triple again. King is pounding a wall and the Skellies <laughs> took down the, the edge of the buildings. Great attack by Daddy. That was number 20. Ooh, let's see, Warrior 26. And I've got another one for you selected. Number 21. Free, free Black. Free Black was that. One by Omniscient. And this is, uh, well, this, this was a lot of uh, troops, a lot of different troops. Two giant 24 loons he had, one wizard, six minions, three valkyries. What's he gonna do here? Well, that's the loons travel, take down the town hall. One jump spell, so his kill squad. Where will he deploy his kill squad? The queen will have to go down, and a lot of elders will go down, so he probably will place the jump spell at the bomb tower, right? At the bomb tower? Jump spell at the bomb tower. That will get his troops to the clown castle, to the enemy queen, and then he can start his looting. Now a little bit more to the north. He wants to take down that single inferno as well, deploys the giants, ah, the giants in front. To distract the single inferno, his heroes will stay to the south, I hope. He deploys a few Valkyries in there as well, clown castle comes out, it's a witch, baby dragon combination, poison spell on there. Oh, a lot of skeleton spells surrounding that single inferno, king stays up, king ability used, queen ability still. Saved. Queen ability is still saved. Queen takes down that air death. Queen will take down the X bow as well, I guess. Takes down the blower. Didn't use queen ability yet. Queen's under heavy fire. Use queen ability now. Queen and starts his looning. Looning clockwise. You got three haste left. One haste left. Rage spell. Heal spell left. And a uh, haste spell left. Look at those loons. Those loons travel all around. We'll group up to the inferno. Group up to the X bow. From the expo, they will go to the, I think, to the West Tower. From the West Tower to the Cannon, Cannon, Expo. He's got a few backhand loons, and he deploys this heal spell. His heal, well, I didn't expect a heal spell over there. I expected the heal spell to go to the last Wizard Tower, but the loon survived. 
well placed. Well placed waste tower with the Tesla behind it. Very standard. Well done. Speed it up from here. A great hit. Great army. Great competition. Well executed by Omniscient. Against number 21. And what's more in store for you, number 21? The next attack is going to be number 20. Replay formed Spartan. Spartan, he had a hog hit. Hog hit with a single bono, one golem, few goblins and a few archers. Five war breakers. Let's see what he does. He deploys a bono where he really wants to get a clan castle. He deploys a wizzy to speed it up a little bit. Wizzy on the spell factory. Speed it up so his main force with the golem will go between the wish tower and the archer tower i guess so has to be uh, he has to take down town hall a little bit faster damn it time is always of the essence deploys his golem the king will target the golem deploys his queen queen a little bit late because the king is pounding on that golem right now now queen comes to the rescue don't know what the queen's targeting, but she's taking a damn long time to kill that king. Deploys his wall breakers, wall breakers will let the golem in, will let the main force in, bowlers in the clan castle. He's got a rage left, will he use the rage? Rage on his, yes, a rage on his two witches and uh, baby dragon in the clan castle, poison on there. He's got king ability still left, he's got queen ability left, king ability press right about now, deploys his hogs on 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock counterclockwise. Single inferno is still up, he's got queen ability left, queen will travel a long way. But there's not a lot of important death for her down there in the middle. What will she take down? She will take down the clan castle, but that doesn't do a lot. Oh, damn it. Almost missed queen ability. He's got three. Three heal spells left. Three heal spells left. Hogs group up nicely together. Double healed. Trigger a giant bomb. Skellies are uh, at the Wist Tower hogs. Those will... Will they survive? Then he needs his last heal spell right after that inferno. And the bottom hoggies are taking down those Teslas. And the last heal spell is deployed. They will get the Inferno Tower, but it's still going to be a little bit tricky. Queen! Queen just died! Queen almost killed the Wist Tower over there. Wist Tower is a... Damn, I want to say a bitch, but I can't stream. Queen Tower, uh, the Wist Tower. Wist Tower took down the Queen, took down a last few archers, which were uh, up there, I think, from the Queen ability. And the Hoggies took down that last death. Last important death over there. Oh, damn it, Cannon does, a little, does do a little damage. Got wizzies for cleanup. You got a few archers for cleanup. Always a good plan on a hog raid. Another 10 versus 10 by Spartan. This was number 20. The next one was number 16. 16 fierce. Fierce, what did he do? He did a um, well, quite a lot of troops again. He did a golem. Kill squad golem. Immediately deploys his golem and deploys a few hoggies on that outside cannon wants to take down that cannon I think for funneling he wants to get his troops to the core does he then he will use the jump spell on the cannon over there he no the hoggies the hoggies trigger the clan castle which are valkyries and baby dragons not the standard clan castle he deploys his poison spell queen is on attacks clan castle goes to the golem but golem is targeted by the single inferno so golem didn't do that much damage but queen's protected clan castle is gone because of the poison spell the two golem knights travel in there press his king ability he wants the king to take down the single inferno so his queen can do more damage will the king yeah the king will take down he's got 30 loons i bet he hopes yes the king does jump to that um air death king takes down air death when he loons like this the queen will have to take down the tesla tower and the bomb tower please do so Ooh, damn, messy, messy loon drop. Got queen ability left. Please press queen. Queen, yes, ooh, queen in the last second. Loons do group up nicely together now. The beginning was messy, but he's got a... Here. He's got hay spells left. He's got a skelly spell left. He's got two heal spells left. Heal spell for the middle travel over the queen. Drops a skeleton spell on the queen. Enemy queen will go down with the splash damage from the loons. Well, queen doesn't go down quickly well goes down in the end he got a heal spell left heal spell to heal those loons when they travel to the both wist towers but the other loons come to the rescue got a few loons back and from seven o'clock that is few minions behind him and the king is still alive king is still up king is going for the town hall this is going to be a safe hit 10 versus 10 triple can speed it up from here nice plan from fierce Town all went down last. That's always where you do 
10 versus 10. The risk of keeping the town all up. Um, Falcon attack. Falcon attack. That's the most popular, most hot attack at the moment. And we did one too. We did one. Uh, basic did one on Naruto. 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 How do you pronounce that? Naruto. Naruto. Sounds more Japanese like Indian. Starts off with a walk. Walk on the town hall. Deploys a Wizzy to funnel Wizzy on the other side to speed it up a little bit. Queen has to go in. Queen takes down the. the takes down the town hall but he's losing a lot of time with this he wants to funnel his valkyries with valkyries you don't need a jump spell because you can rage the valkyries they will break through any wall you put be you put in front of them but he has to funnel them where is he going to do that? he's going to do it by the lab or is he going to go north where is he going to do that raise this queen wall queen takes down the air death i hope queen will go to the south i bet he's waiting where the queen will go and if the queen oh queen takes down the clan castle poison spell deployed queens under heavy fire from that tesla but the rage will gather through it if the baby dragon dies now he deploys his baby dragon on the lab for funneling and i think he wants the queen and the valkyries all to break in through that wall to that single inferno I think he's gonna rage him right about now. Rage him when they hit the wall. Yes, rage him when they hit the wall. And the clan castle bowlers come out. Oh damn it, Valkyries took a lot of damage from the giant bomb. But hey, look at that wall. Look at that wall. One, two, three, and for single inferno gone. Kings are still at full health. Queen is at half health, but will be healed by the healers. Will the healers go in and heal those bowlers? Rages them again, rages and heals them in the core. There's still some giants in there. Valkyries are doing their job. Damn it, air bombs take down a few healers. Queen still up. Got a few hoggies back end. Hoggies on the archer tower and hoggies on the cannon. And as you can see, this is gonna be a triple. A lot of bowlers left. Kings almost at half health. Queens at full health. Taking down those air deaths. And the hoggies back end. Not attacked by the air deaths, not attacked by the mortars. So this attack was a very good spot. Very good. 30 seconds left. I'm gonna speed it up a little for you because it's only cleanup. Hot's in the corner, well spotted. Broad backhand. How many how many hits did you fail? Come on, be honest. How many hits did you fail? Because you didn't bring back up. Uh, number 12. Number 12, Anisha. I think this was Pinky again. Well, I showed his 9 versus 10. I'm going to show his 10 versus 10 as well. He had a great war. He really had a great war. We had to think about 5 to 6 people who had a, well, an unbelievably great war. Maza had a great war, I think G had a great war, Pinky had a great war, Dasher had a great war. Ast had a great war, Spartan had a great war. Well, many people. Many people did a lot of trips. Great war altogether. Well, otherwise you don't get this many stars. He's got a kill squad of bowlers and his royals. He wants them to get in, get into the clown castle, get the enemy queen, rages his kill squad, giant in front. Well, you didn't see a lot of giants lately. Until three months ago, nobody attacked with a giant, and now with a single inferno, they're always part of the crew. King dies because of the single inferno, depressed king ability. Queen stays behind a little bit, but the enemy queen's already gone, so it doesn't matter. Presses queen ability, take down the clan castle, do a little damage, take down the exbow, preferably as well, too. Will she get it? Yes, she got it in the last. She got it in the last. And here we go. Yes, this is Pinky. pre dropped the hay spell. With the hounds, he hasn't got a hound in the clown castle, so those hounds are a little bit vulnerable. They're going to be taken down by that single inferno as well. But the loons will have to go to the single inferno, have to go against the sweeper. That's why I deployed a rage over there. Air devs are almost gone, one air dev remaining, and loon at half health. But going down quickly, attacked by the air dev, by an archer tower, by a whiz tower. Damn it, a lot of devs. Ah, damn it, the Teslas are outside. But he took that into his plan. Some backhand loons got a heal spell left. Heal spell is going on the, I bet, after the uh, Wist Tower. Yep. Heal my right about now. Blower is in the wrong direction. Won't do anything right now. Queen was very well protected. Very good entry. Two Archer Towers left and a Tesla Tower left. And still a minute. This is going to be a time issue as well. The Tesla Teslas go down and the last loons kill those Archer Towers. And only because, he, well, we've got two, three loons. How many loons have got left? Not two to three. Still a great hit. Nice 10 versus 10. After his 9 versus 10. And now I've said it enough. I'm not gonna say it again. Mm, number 11. Number 11 was a... <laughs> yeah, 
this was funny. This was funny. They made a plan in the beginning of the war. Uh, I think George made this plan in the beginning of the war. And some people said, nah, nah, it's not going to work. Yeah, and George persisted. He said, yeah, well, it's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. Hinsey did the attack. And George was right. It worked. Queen goes to 9 o'clock. Uh, I saw this hit live, fortunately. And Queen goes in at, well, not a point that I would expect. He wanted to keep the healers away from the Expo, and the Expo does target the healers and shoots quite a lot of healers. That's why I thought this hit would not be successful. Takes down the Wist Tower, takes down the Mortar, deploys his King. King will travel to the outside. And look at what wall he breaks. He's got 12 wall breakers left. He wants to get to the core. Three wall breakers there because the cannon target the King. Walls going down, and look at that Exbo. Exbo targets the healers right about now. He rages his queen. Clon Castle comes out. It's a uh, no witch this time. No, two Valkyries, a baby dragon, a few archers. Sends in the rest of his wall breakers. Breaks the right wall. And the wall after that. 12 wall breakers left. And the queen has got nowhere else to go but to go inside. inside. Take down the mortar. And he's got very few healers left, and here we say, well, he's got Queen Ability left, but he has to throw a Rage, and a Rage, I think he needs the Rage for the rest of his attack. He didn't use the Rage. Queen against Queen Ability. Queen went down, and will the Queen stay up? Stars is looting from 6 o'clock, counterclockwise, 4 o'clock. He's got a few haste left, got a Rage left, he got a heal left, Queen stays up, Queen takes down that air death. I don't think that was part of the plan, but she did. Takes down the bomb tower. One loon to keep all the other loons inside. But damn it, the loons take a little bit of a wrong path. You wanted to hope to get them to the inferno tower. Queen's gone. Queen's gone. And if those loons take down that wish tower and that inferno, then most of the damage is gone. The other loons will travel through the heal. No heals worked out right about now. That's unfortunate. You got a haste spell left. Will he deploy the haste on the cannon? Yes, on the cannon to get those loons to that archer tower. That's the only thing which could mess up this raid. Who oh, damn it to take a wrong turn? Take a wrong turn and kill all those before they reach the archer tower. But still, still a nice ripple. Great, great, great plan by G. Another 10 versus 10 by Hinzi. Well, that might. Then we get to number 9. I think number 9 was the highest yet. No, it wasn't the highest. One of the highest. One of the highest 10 versus 10. Uh, LL Cool J. LL Cool J. Let's see what he does. He has a hog raid. Hog raid for us. Uh, what's going to be in the clown castle? Hoggies as well, I think. Hoggies as well, I think. Uh, FBC India use a lot of this, uh, these bases with the, um, with the infernos in these compartments. Ooh, damn it. That's a little risk. Presses king ability early to take down the enemy king. He wants the queen to go to 3 o'clock, right? Yes, to 3 o'clock. King doesn't do that much damage. Enemy king is gone, so he can save a rage. King will take down the tunnel. That's good. And he's already started funneling with some archer towers to keep it in, to keep their walk in. As said, a lot of, a lot of these bases from FPC India, we still think it's a very strong meta. We still think it's a very, very strong Town Hall 10. Oh, damn it. Queen takes down the uh, air death. Oh, what's he gonna do? We've got 25 hogs left. Will he hog in front of his queen? I think the queen has to die. Opens the wall over there. Queen has to die for this hit. He's got a raid spell left. I bet the queen will be raised again. Queen takes down another air death. Yes, rage the queen. Clown castle comes out. Enemy queen goes under a poison. Ooh, everything together. Dragon comes out. Loon in the clown castle. Dragons and loons in the clown castle. Ooh, very nice surprise. Very nice surprise. Skeleton spell comes out. And from here on, I think he can start his hogs right about now. Three heal spells left. 25 hogs left. And a few goblins and a few whizzies for a cleanup. Deploys all his hoggies, but seven. They'll go to, oh damn it, two Tesla's pop up. Part of his plan, deploys his first heal spell. All the hoggies, yes, all the hoggies travel through the heal spell onto the bomb tower. I think he's gonna heal them after the bomb tower, immediately after the bomb tower, right about now. Oh damn it, double bomb over there. No, no, single, single giant bomb over there. Hoggies travel to that single inferno. Single inferno won't do much, but he needs a heal spell for those two whist towers. Yeah, right. Two whist towers, a lot of splash damage. Killing for a hog. Ah, oh, one hoggy. Triggered the bomb over there. 
And this is gonna be a triple. Got a poison spell left. Swag poison. And from here on, we take you to the highest 10 versus 10. Queen Walk Loon. And we did a lot of Queen Walks Loons at uh, this war. Still a very, very powerful attack. And, well, if you want to do 11 versus 11, I think uh, 10 versus 10 is still the most, uh, the most fun in the game. 11 versus 11, according to some, is uh, much easier, but we've got a very weird clan. You've got people who say, well, 11 versus 11 is easier than 10 versus 10, and we've got people who say, no, I can't do town 11, I only can do 10 versus 10. So, depending on the war, depending a little bit on the enemy, we know which people can hit. We know what accounts to put in. He's gonna take down the air dev over there. He's got five wall breakers left. Where is he gonna break them? Is he gonna break them before the Tesla Tower or after the Tesla Tower? Here's your answer after. Queen takes down the enemy king. That's why he used the raid spell over there. Queen will travel to the outside. Take down the army camp. King. King on the builder huts. And then his queen has to go in. He wants his queen to go in. He needs his queen to get in, otherwise he won't get the air devs. He needs to get an air dev. Here come all the roll breakers. Ooh, damn it, queen's very low on health. Has he used queen ability? Now can save the ability. He's got two rages left. King's almost gone. Clan castle comes out. Ooh, rages very late. Drops his poison very late, but successful, but successful. Clan castle, a Valkyrie, baby dragon, and witch. Pretty standard, but still a great, great choice. And he starts his looning at 10.30. 10.30 and almost everything together. Three haste spells left, one rage left. Deploys the haste, he wants to get... Oh, uh, well, he's going against the blower there. Against the blower, he uses rage to get to the blower and get to the single inferno. Queen, enemy queen's not gone completely. Enemy queen's not completely gone, she's only gone now. Damn it, and the queen will die of that single inferno. Oh no, oh, oh, the loot's got her. The loot's got the single inferno just in time. I think it's going to be a it was going to be a success nevertheless but still but still from here on it's only clean up some goblins as backhand and he's got a loon left for clean up nice clean up of this base and to be honest the top bases were more easy than the bottom bases but that happened before and now let's get to the 11 versus 11 action this is tissue factor asked Asked with a uh, loon spam. Loon spam, 32 loons this time. 32 loons. He's got a loon over there. Sends in his king. Where's his queen? Queen will follow the king later on. Queen will get the single effort. No, in the end of that. No, king goes to the south. He deploys a wall breaker over there. Wall breaker. Didn't trigger a lot. I forgot if this was a fresh hit. Yes or no? I think it was a fresh hit. Otherwise, he wouldn't have sent the first wall breaker. King's almost gone. Can use King ability right about now. Queen will travel a little bit to the outside. King will get the air dev. Clan Castle comes out. Queen will get the air dev and kill the Clan Castle. He saved his poison. He saved his poison. You want to know where the Clan Castle went. Clan Castle is a few goblins, a witch. Mm, there were two witches. Deploys a baby dragon to get rid of the baby dragon and get rid of the witches. He did that more, did war. Just focus on the Clan Castle and the royals. Get something from the outside. Air Skellies, Air Skellies won't go to the Queen, he's got Queen ability left. And Queen and Royals take down a lot of this base. 20%, only from the Royals. And a few backhand troops. Few Teslas down, Air Dev down, King down. And here we go. Loon spam, 32 loons. Where will lead point Warden? Warden in the middle, he wants everything to go to the core. Group up nicely against that blower. Troops on the sides to get to that whist tower. Whist tower is gone. Eagle death kicked in some time ago, but he's got his haste, he's got his rage left. Ooh, doesn't go very well, doesn't group up nicely against the rage spell, only does now. He's got still a skeleton spell, he's got warden ability, he's got a heal spell left. Uses his warden ability for the last to get to that wizard tower. He hasn't got any loons left, but he's got a heal spell left. I think he's going to use it late because the Hound has to be in front. If the Hound goes in front to that um, West Tower, that's going to be no problem. No, Yeah, it's going to be. It's going to be in front. The Hound's going to be in front. That will only help this raid. 
if that hound dies, the minions will help this raid. The hound doesn't die. Damn it, that's unfortunate. But he still got it. Still got it. Loon spam. I don't think he, he well, he ever failed in taking down the base. If he says, well, that's loon spammable, then he took it down first or second try. Asked with his main account. On the number six, again, loon spam. 35 loon, six minions, two hounds, two bowlers. And again, a kill squad deploys the bowlers to funnel the king to go to the bottom. And he wants to take down that air dev. And what more does he want? He wants to take down the air dev. The bowlers do a lot of damage there. Lab and they're gonna go for the elixir pump as well. Didn't use king ability yet. He used king ability to get to that Tesla. Tesla's going down then. But the inferno will stay up. And I bet he has to use queen ability. He has queen ability to take down the... Wist Tower take down the Archer Tower, and again he gets more than 20% value of his Royals. Royals and some backhand troops. Again, 21% value, that's a lot. Deploys his haste spells. Here come the loons. 35 loons it were. The two hounds, Eagle Death kicks in, but he's got his haste spell in place, he's got his Warden in place. One of the hits went wrong because the Warden went retarded. All the loons have to group up nicely. He's got two skeleton spells for the queen. He has to drop them right about now. Queen is fixating on the loons, fixating on the hound. Very busy with the skeleton spells. Loons survive, take down the blower. Travel to that last wizard tower over there. Two wizard towers left. The loons will have to get to the wizard tower and then to the air death, please. No, not to the air death. They go to the archer tower in the south. Killed by the skeletons. Killed by the skeletons, damn it. Doesn't look that good. Doesn't look that good. There are a few air skellies. And the air dev kills. Oh, damn it. Killed the minions for help. But the last inferno. Oh, damn it. The hay spell worked out. I hope he's got a lot of lo enough loons left. Yeah, he got enough loons left. Take down that Tesla. Take down that single inferno. And then this is going to be a successful 11 versus 11. You would almost get used to it. Very nice asked, very nice 11 versus 11. Then the second to last hit was the number 5. We didn't do that well on the town 11s, but we got so many stars in the town all time, we didn't need to. An attack by Kaiser shows it again, a loon spam. Loon spam gets his royals in. King to the town hall, queen gets a Tesla. Very close to the single inferno. Wizzy takes down the gold save already. Let's see how many how much value he gets. Ooh, damn it. Single Inferno locks onto the Queen. Has to use Queen Ability. And he wants to use Queen Ability because you want to take... Ooh, damn it. Can he take the Inferno? Yes, she can take the Inferno down and get the... Ooh, please get the Archer. Uh, <laughs> ooh, got the Air Dev as well. Triggered Clown Castle, but the Clown Castle's not gone. Clown Castle's not gone. There's a Baby Dragon and Witches in there with a Loon Spam. That can mean trouble. Deploys a minion to lure out the Clown Castle. Damn it, this didn't go according to plan, but <laughs> he got a poison spell, he got his baby dragon out and a whizzy out, and this clown castle is going away. And again, got 20% from a few troops and his royals. Took down a single inferno, took down an air death, took down the clown castle. Very, very nice. Two skeleton spells left, four haste left, two rages, one here left. Deploys his haste, and here we go. One hound, few loons, go to the mortar, go from the mortar to the archer tower. From the archer tower, they've got nowhere else to go but to go to the air dev. Skeleton spells are on air, FBC India expected us to go on air on the town hall 11s. But some attacks are too powerful, you can practice walks all day, but then somebody comes in with a loon spam with the suicide royals and gets it in the end. Two skeleton spells on the enemy queen. Enemy queen's gone, he's got a hay spell left, he's got a heal spell. And he got his warden ability left. Warden stays with the pops, yeah, nice. Why? <laughs> Come on, mate! Come on, the action is in the top. And he's here re being retarded in the bottom. Sometimes I really hate that warden. Still, still, still a successful hit. Enemy warden's going down. Expo was on ground. Expo was on ground. We spotted it in the first few seconds. Oh damn it, a few Expos are on ground. That invites you to go through air, but still. 
Very nice bases from uh, FPC India. We we only found a few. A few were on YouTube. And we got an old vid from somebody. Very nice. Um, the other ones we couldn't take down. This one was 91%. This one was 84%. And this one was 86%. So we got high percentages. But we didn't take them down. Sorry. And this is going to be a walk. A walk from Lupus. Our Belgian friend. Belgium friend, damn it, he took down their number one. With a queen charge. Some loons on the cannon. To protect the queen, that makes it for better pathing. Queen goes low on health, has to deploy a rage. Oh, no, damn it, he waits. Damn, you have to have brass balls. He waits it out, he waits it out. That's why he deployed the loon over there. Get the cannon. Keep the queen alive. Staying alive, staying alive. Deploy this king for funneling. Where has he got? He got eight wall breakers left. He wants to go in somewhere. Does he want to go in? Yes, he wants to go in between that archer tower and that west tower. Deploys king ability. Skeleton traps come out. He's got four rages left. Four rages. Come on, my Belgian friend. Yes, with a rage. Rage is his queen. Warden will go down. Enemy queen will go down. He tries to tries to break the next wall. Succeeds in breaking the next wall. He's got queen ability left. Damn it, an air bomb takes down the healers. He's still got queen ability left. Rage is the queen again. He got two rages left now. Clunk also comes out. Goblins, baby dragon, and a witch. Yes, a witch, of course. Deploys Queen ability now. Eagle kicks in. Stars is looning from 4 or 5 o'clock. Warden with the loons. And Queen will. Queen will stay up. Oh, will those healers heal the Queen through those double exbos? I doubt it. He rages the Queen again. Rages the Queen again. Rage to get those loons to that Eagle Death. And when the Eagle Death is gone, then you're halfway through your hit. Oh, the last loons fortunately go to the... Uh, oh, damn it. No, 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 no. They don't go to the... Um, to the air dev, but the rest of the loons catch up. Rest of the loons catch up. Queen takes down the expo. When the expo is taken down, he can use his last haste spell. He's got ah, he's got warden ability left, and this time the warden saves the day. Warden took the right troops, didn't stay behind with the retarded minions. No, he took the right route and took this base down. Very well done, Lupus. As said, our Belgian friend always polite. Those Belgians <laughs> got a few wall breakers left. And this is it. This was the last 11 versus 11 in this war. We had a great, great, great war against a great, great opponent. FBC India. They scored 121 points with a 92% destruction in a 45 versus 45 war. That's not bad at all. And they had a very tough schedule because they were. Uh, they, they lost one of the semi. No, they lost the quarterfinals, I think. And then Villa Lacura was up against another clan. That other clan was disqualified. And then FBC India challenged Villa Lacura to take the spot in the finals. FBC India won, so they had very little preparation times. Big shout out to them to get 121 stars. But this time, Kronos won their second NDL Pro Division finals. Congratulations, boy. This is it. I'm out. I'm Verbal Kind. See you again. Bye bye.